day students, it's Mr. Sargent here with your day 108 recap video for ELA and for science. Now, ladies and gentlemen, today's video is going to be a little bit different. Um, instead of talking about science today, which we're going to get back to next week, we're going to focus today on hamburgers. Yeah, you you heard it right. We're going to be talking about hamburgers today, ladies and gentlemen. Um, we're going to use it to, as a way to connect to our own writing today. But for a little bit, we're just going to sit back and talk a little bit about hamburgers, why they're so awesome, and why having all the different parts together make a really great burger. Because when we're talking about informational paragraphs, well... It's more than just one part. It's more than just information, ladies and gentlemen. You gotta put all the pieces together to make that great burger. So, sit back and let's go ahead and start learning. Now, ladies and gentlemen, you can probably tell that Mr. Sargent is a huge fan of hamburgers. I love hamburgers. Now, we got to sit in class today and talk about where we get our favorite hamburgers. Now, for me, I enjoy making my own burgers, but we had some people out there that love McDonald's burgers, love Burger King burgers. We even had Cade out there loving Dairy Queen burgers, which I've never heard. tried a Dairy Queen burger, um, but you definitely might have convinced me. But when we talk, think about a burger, it, it comes down to having the right ingredients, just like every meal that we eat. Now, with a hamburger, if you can see behind me, you have a few parts. You have the top bun. You gotta have that top bun, all right? It, it's the start of the burger. Then as you work your way down, and at the very bottom, you got your bottom bun. You put that two, those two together, well, you have the beginnings of a great hamburger, all right? And then we put the beef. And I always say it that way, you've got to have the beef. Now, for all of you vegetarians out there who have the veggie burgers or the turkey burgers or the chicken burgers, ladies and gentlemen, they're all so good. But do you just leave it as a burger? No, you don't just have the beef. Sometimes you gotta add cheese and lettuce and tomato and I don't eat bacon, but some people put bacon on it. I know I put french fries on mine. You got ketchup. There are so many things you can add to a burger to make it different and unique. Now, all this talk about burgers has definitely made me hungry, but it also makes me think a little bit about writing. Now, this week we have focused on informational writing. Now, the thing about informational writing is you start with a point that you're trying to make and then you prove it with some evidence and some facts. And you try to teach someone about your topic. How on earth could we compare a burger with an informational paragraph? If only I had a well, there it is right there, ladies and gentlemen. If you look at this picture, you will see a great example of a burger. Now, this isn't a burger that we're going to eat or grill up or that we could even sell to uh, somebody. Um, but this is a great way to take a look at how to write informational paragraphs. Now, just like we talked about before, it starts off at the top with that bun. Now, in this case, the bun is going to represent our topic sentence. Now, when we're talking about a topic sentence, we're talking about the point you're trying to make. What statement are you going to start your writing with? Well, if you take a look at our um, Black History Month informational paragraph that we started today in class, we have right here blank. Well, that's going to be whoever your person is that you did some research on is a very important person to remember when celebrating black history. So the first thing that we do, guys, I've given you the bun already, giving you that top bun. We've given you the topic sentence blank, whoever your person is. Now we had people write about Langston Hughes, Maya Angelou, George Washington Carver. We had a Charles Drew, uh, Rosa Parks. That would be the first thing that you put in there. And ladies and gentlemen, for this informational paragraph, our topic sentence is done. Once you put that name in, that topic sentence, that top of the bun is done. All right? And just to skip ahead a little bit, the bottom bun. 
it says concluding par or com com concluding sentence. This is where you restate your topic sentence. When you think about a hamburger bun, they're made from the same bun, but they're just cut in half, aren't they? Well, a topic sentence is sort of the same. In this example, in this informative paragraph, you take a look at the first sentence and the last sentence, and they practically say the same thing. So you've got the first and last sentences done. What else do we need? You guessed it, we need the beef. Now, in this case, we need some beefy details. Another word for details, facts. Now, these are going to be facts that prove your statement is accurate, that your topic sentence is true. You don't just say a topic sentence, you go with an informational paragraph, you prove it with details. And ladies and gentlemen, this is where you put the details. Now in the picture we have, it's the beef, the cheese, the lettuce, and you know in a burger, a burger's not just, is good when it's just beef, but you gotta have that other stuff too. So when you're talking about those beefy details, Remember, they all need to connect with the topic sentence. If we're saying that someone is very important, we need to explain why they are so important. And that's where your research comes in. All right. And then we already talked about the last sentence. So with the top bun, the beefy details, and the bottom part of the bun, if we put all that together in our informational paragraph, there we go. We, ladies and gentlemen, we have an informational paragraph after that. So when you are writing your own, I want you to think about a burger. Don't get too hungry. I know, I know, I'm, my stomach's growling right now. You have no idea. But when you're writing an informational paragraph, it's important to organize it correctly. Because when you want to try to teach it, when you want to try to explain something to someone that may not know about your topic, it's good to have that organized, detailed way of teaching them. Ladies and gentlemen, in the description below, you will find a link for today's assignment, as well as another link for where maybe you want to write some, about something different. Maybe you want to write about someone different. Maybe you want to write about tacos. Who knows? You can write informational paragraphs about anything. So ladies and gentlemen, I want to see who out there will practice today, this weekend, and well, hopefully make their own burgers. And like I said before, ladies and gentlemen, we're taking a break today on science, but we're going to pick right back up on Monday by talking about tundras. So if, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to do some research this weekend on tundras, I highly, highly recommend it so you can be prepared for class. Ladies and gentlemen, incredible week this week. Um, I hope you have a fun and safe weekend, and I cannot wait to see you all on Monday.